guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mary. Uh, subscribe for more, it's down below. Why do I keep doing weird shit like this with my hand? I did this in another video too, where I was like, it's down below. <laughs> It's down below. Um, my Insta is also linked down below, so you should totally follow me on there because I'm always posting on there. But today's vid is gonna be a nice, I was gonna say little, but it's not little, a nice big haul. <laughs> um, I did some shopping while I was in Australia and also on Boxing Day. Not much on Boxing Day, but kind of an aggressive amount when I was in Australia and <sighs> Oh fuck, I just like repositioned and my foot, something happened, anyways. And so I figured I would just show you guys. Also, I apologize if the lighting isn't the best. I hope that it's not horrible, but I, it's kind of like cloudy and dark outside and I don't have a ring light. And I've never really been a ring light girl, you know? I just, I should probably get one, but I just like have never felt called to get one. Um, anyways, moving on. So, yeah, I just kind of want to get into this. I got some clothes, some random ass shit, some accessories, miscellaneous. Let's go. All right, so the first things are just, I'm just going to show the accessories first and stuff because I also got three pairs of tennis shoes, so I'll show you guys those too. Um, but I'm going to start with the accessories because they're closest to me. So we're just going to start with that. Okay, so the first thing I got is a pair of key sunglasses because who am I if I... Went to Australia and didn't get a pair of key sunglasses, but I actually have one of these for longer. And if you didn't know this, they are cheaper in Australia. They're like $50 USD in Australia. So they're pretty cheap. I got this pair, cause I've been wanting them. These are a little bit loose now. I might need to go get them tightened, but they're super cute. I like them a lot. I might link this stuff down below. Not gonna make any promises. We'll see how I'm feeling when I edit this. But yeah, I really like these sunglasses. I've been wanting them. And when they were at the store, Glue, if you go to Australia, you should go to Glue. It's a good store. It's like Urban. Um, but when I saw them, I was like, these might be the funnies for me. Then I got another pair of sunglasses because who, why not? These ones are from Cotton On and they're the brand Ruby. They're like Cotton On's um, accessories brand. Cotton On is kind of the American version of like, or the Australian version of like, I would say maybe like Forever 21, but better. Maybe like a mixture of Forever 21 and something else. Forever 21 H&M vibes, but like not as cheap. So I don't know, I like it a lot, but I got these ones. And I think they're so chic. They were $5 at Australian, which is like $3 USD or something. They're amazing. I think they're really cool. They make me feel, I could just see them with like, Either like a sweatshirt and some big hoops or like, yeah, a sweatshirt and some big hoops. I think it'll look good. Going to class, wearing them in class, I don't know. Anyways, the next thing I got is, I got this wallet. This wallet's fucking sick. Don't tell me if it looks like, or don't tell me it looks like an old lady wallet because I don't think it does. But I was a little concerned about that when I got it, but I actually don't think it does. I actually think it's just really cool and so, it just goes like, opens like this, and then there's like spaces for cash, and two spaces for cash, and then a bunch of spaces for cards. And I am really, really into it. I think it's super cute and just like very chic. I think I could also use it as like a little clutch. I'm not sure, but I'm really into it. And I got it at a small boutique. Again, see, I don't think I'm gonna link this stuff or I don't know if I will because a lot of it I just got at miscellaneous places and you can probably just like look up stuff and find stuff like it. Um, but yeah, I got this at a smaller boutique. It is not real snakeskin, but it is real leather or I guess not real like crocodile or whatever it looks like. Um, and yeah, I'm obsessed. It's, I just like wanted a really nice wallet but I didn't want to get like a like Louis Vuitton or like like something like that I didn't want that because I like I have a small one that I really like but I wanted a nice big one but I wanted it to be a little bit just like more low-key you know so I'm down okay next thing I got is some random um beauty I guess items so I kind of just got these because I needed them while I was there, but then I ended up loving them because I ended up loving everything in Australia. So, yeah. 
So the first one is, this is so random. I literally got everything I bought. Um, is I got this Manuka Honey All Purpose Ointment. <laughs> and it's actually amazing. And like, I'm not an ointment user, <laughs> whatever that means. But this shit is good. I put it on my hands and I saw it and like, it said Manuka Honey and immediately like my ears perked up. I was like, oh my God, Manuka. Anyway, cause it's so good for you. Um, but it's like an all, a multi-purpose ointment. So I was like, maybe I could put this on my hands cause my hands were really dry from the flight when I first got there. I'm actually gonna put it on right now. Then I started putting it on my hands and you guys know I love the Willetta hand cream, but this is like different. It's more, I'd say like maybe more oily, more heavy duty. So usually I would just take it and put it right on my cuticles and then like right on my knuckles where I get dry. Um, but it's really awesome. It doesn't smell the best, but it works really, really well. And yeah, I just really like it. And it's by the brand Blossom Australia. I got it at Priceline, which is like Australian pharmacy. Then I also got this at Priceline, but I think you can get this in the US and it's Oh My Gloss by Rimmel London. And because I left, <laughs> I left all my makeup at home. I don't know if I told you guys that, but I literally, and like, I'm not even wearing makeup right now. I'm not a huge makeup user, but like, I love a good lip gloss. I love a good boy brow. I love a good like bronzer and highlight and I feel like a new woman, um, but I didn't have any of that. So I went to Priceline and got lip gloss because I felt lost without it. I like had my Laneige, but like there's nothing like a good gloss, you know? And this one is amazing. It's the color Snog. So it's the Oh My Gloss from London color Snog. Oh, Snog, like kissing, duh. And it looks exactly like the Marc Jacobs one. I was like on the hunt for it and then I was like, I don't know. And then it, I, cause like, I don't know. I'm really picky about lip gloss where like, it has to be buttery. Like I hate when they're like, like I hate that. Especially like if you're gonna kiss a guy, like they already don't probably like lip gloss on their lips. So why would they want something sticky on their lips? You know what I mean? You just have to think about that stuff. So this is the one. This is it. It's amazing. It's buttery. It's a great color. It makes your teeth look white. It's amazing. Love it. Okay, then I also got the Bondi Sands. I ended up getting some Bondi Sands products because my, okay, another thing that was happening was my lips were getting sunburned because I never thought about that. And I'm not going to put like actual sunscreen on my lips because that's gross. So I got the Bondi Sands lip balm with SPF in it. It's so good. It has, I would put it on, but I just put lip gloss on, but it is coconut flavored. It's a sunscreen. So if you like go somewhere and you like, you never think that your lips will get burnt and then they do. Um, this is a ticket. Bondi Sands. It's amazing. I really, really like it. Then from Bondi Sands, I also got their self, everyone was tanned by me. So I got self tanner because I was like, whatever, what's a girl to do? And I needed more self tanner anyway. So I was like, ah, oh, whatever. And it's cheaper there. So whatever. Anyways, Bondi Sands, um, the Australian tan, self tanning mist in dark and it's coconut scent. It's really awesome. And then I also got this mitt, just, it's just like the B tan price line. And it says, I don't want tan on my hands. And then I also got the exfoliating little mitt from Priceline too, so that I could, cause I thought that was so smart. You can exfoliate before you put the tan on. Um, so yeah, um, I got to keep cup because I use my, I'm so glad I brought, oh shit, I forgot to show you this, whatever, I'll show you in a sec. I'm so glad I brought my blue bottle coffee cup because I ended up using it every day, but it actually got like nasty because I didn't have a dishwasher. So I was like doing it by hands, but like kind of doing it, you know, and it just got really, really gross. So like I dishwashed it and like, I think it's going to be fine, but it's also pretty like torn up already. I'm kind of pissed, but it has a lot of coffee stains on it. It is what it is, but I also really wanted a keep cup for a long time. So I got a keep cup and I love it. It's awesome. So I think it might be the best reusable cup I've had. So if you are looking for one, I would suggest a keep cup. I love the Target one too, but that's like more of a glass one. Like, I don't know. The next thing is I bought this perfume and it's local to Bondi. It's by Samuel Gravon. Gravin? G-R-A-V-A-N, Gravin. Gravan. And it's Woody Fig. And it's just a really small one. And I got it because it 
smells so good and it's just like a little one and it's a local perfume and I was like you know what why not okay next is just a reusable bag that I got from cotton on because I um, everyone uses canvas bags there and I felt out of the loop <laughs> And it's like I'll use this all the time and it was just good to have while I was there like I used it every freaking day and it's this one okay wait it looks so angsty on camera it's not that angsty I swear it's kind of angsty I was like a little bit suspicious if I should get it or not because I was like that's a little angsty for my liking but I actually really like it and I think it's cool and it's kind of artsy you know whatever next is some earrings so I got some earrings from cotton on um and cotton on is just like cheaper pretty much like iris you'll know what I'm talking about like it's it's not it's pretty affordable but it's easy to go in there and spend a lot of money if you're not looking around um so the first ones I got are these shell earrings I thought they were so cute and just like so fun to wear in the summer and just like if I'm like ever somewhere tropical which I know I will be um and I just think they're a really fun addition to an outfit. I feel like you didn't see them up close, but they're, I just think they're really cute. They were 12 Australian, which is seven US, I think, eight. Yeah, yeah, eight, I think. And then these ones, which are three Australian, and I think they're really cute too. And they're just like this, just little like gold, like, hoops that have kind of texture and then they're almost like little knots i think they're really cute and just again a fun addition to an outfit and most of my hoops that i have are like everyday hoops so i thought that those earrings would be fun as like additions then i also i'm just going to show you while we're on the topic of jewelry oh hello men um i got this little pearl to add to my necklace that has the sun and the M on it. And it's just a little pearl from um, Indonesia. And I got it at the markets in Bondi. And she like read my energy. And she was like, because I had picked out the pearl and she was like, I think this would be really good for you. You seem like you need some grounding. I was like, I really do. Because I was like feeling kind of anxious at the time. And so yeah, I got that. Then at the markets in The Rocks, which is by the Opera House, I got this bracelet, which is like the pearls. I want you guys, the way I'm showing this is so messed up, but the pearls, if you can see it, yeah, you can kind of see, and then it has some charms on it. And I just think it's really, really pretty. And this guy was hand making them and I was like, or no, 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 no. He wasn't hand making them, the ring was handmade. This guy was, he got some from Paris and I was like, okay. Like, and he was telling me all about it. I was like, that's really cool. And it was like pretty affordable. I think it was in like the 20s in USD and I was like honestly like I've been wanting something to add to this and I just think this is so beautiful clearly I'm pretty into pearls right now I'm a pearly girl um the reasoning for that is because I think they're flirty but classy and just really fun and I kind of like I just love the pearl trend coming back I almost wore my pearl earrings today too and I was like that might be a little bit too pearly for me um, and then the last thing I got at the rocks market is this little pinky ring. I feel like I need to take it off my pinky and show you. Okay, you can kind of see it. And it, I think it just goes well with Blake's ring and I really like it. So I got it, yes, at the rocks market and she hand makes them. And again, like I just, I don't know, I really wanted an extra or another ring. So yeah, and it has kind of that Australia vibe behind it. So I'm excited. Okay, the next things I'm gonna go through moderately quickly and I'll tell you guys where they are from. Um, okay, this shirt is literally just like a little, I didn't have a gray top like this. I have a white one and a black one, both from Aritzia. This one's by New Lucy. It is kind of cropped and it's from Glue. This is a set. It's like this. You guys have probably seen it in my Australia vlogs. That was the shorts, obviously, and this is the top. And it's from Glassons or Glass Glassons Glassons. I don't know. Sorry. And I really like it. It's like almost linen, but not linen. And I think it's very, very cute. Then I got this skirt from Cotton On. And it's the same fabric, and it's just like this little white flouncy skirt. 
and it's so cute. I was wearing it in one of my vlogs. You guys would have seen. If you haven't watched my Australia vlogs, what are you doing? Watch them. Um, then I'm really into this color pink right now. So I got this little crop top in pink. I think it's really cute and just like adorable with some jean shorts. Just very chill and relaxed. And I got these sweatpants. They were on sale at Cotton On and they're so comfy. And they're the same color pink. And then they're just like a little bit distressed. I didn't know if I would like them. So I tried them on and I loved them on. I think they're so adorable and comfy. And I love sweatpants. So yeah, then I got from this store in Bondi called, hmm, I want to say Tamarama, but that's not what it's called because that's the name of the beach. I don't know what it's called, but I got this shirt and it's by the brand Chosen and this was also on a major sale and it's just like this. Guys, this was originally $200 Australian, which is absurd to pay for a crop top. Like I would never do that. And I got it for 40 Australian, which I don't even know why it was on sale for that, but it's so soft. It's actually really awesome. And I'm really, really glad I got it. Then also from that store, I got a pair of sneakers by the brand Veja Ve <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> Veja or something Veja I these are like very popular in Australia I know they're really popular in Europe I really like them and my Adidas I wear so much they were getting disgusting and like I'm obviously gonna keep them and I can just wash them but I was like honestly I wear sneak white sneakers a ton why not get a little bit of white with black action and wear those too so very excited about that then while we're on the sneakers hunt let's just keep going these are kind of I don't even know what they are they're some random ass brand I got them at a really shady market and I feel like they're knockoffs of something but I'm not sure what not Yeezys they're not like Yeezys but they're cool and I actually really like them they're really comfy too I can wear them to the gym they were like $12 I was like I'm getting these because I tried them on and I was like oh these are comfy and I really like on the back that and it just says three stripes someone tell me what brand this is a knockoff of because i know it's a knockoff of something i don't really know what but maybe it's adidas do they have three stripes yeah is it that'd be weird and random but i don't know then these are actual adidas <laughs> and i didn't know if i hated these when i first got them in the mail but then i tried them on with some stuff and i decided that i really liked them and they were non-refundable so i kind of have to like that but they're just like this and they're Adidas, and I don't know if you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck, those are ugly, but I actually really like them, and they're from Netaporte, and I got them on Boxing Day. I also got this on Boxing Day from Netaporte, and it is, actually I ordered these stuff on Christmas, I think, and it's the brand Adam Salmon, and it's this little, like, adorable, workout set and it's just like shorts guys it's so fucking cute on i'm gonna make the thumbnail a picture of me wearing this because it's i literally love it and i'm so excited for it to get warmer so i can wear it and i wish i would have had it in time to take to australia but i didn't oh my god i'm so itchy i apologize okay next i went to my favorite active wear brand i went to the store the upside i got this set and it's actually olive green and these are the pants. They have like a black little stripe and then there's like some navy blue accenting. And then there's some also mesh. You really can't see it, but maybe I'll put this in the thumbnail too or you'll just see me wearing it sometime. And then I got the matching bra top, which is like so. And it was cool to go to the store because I really like this brand, especially for yoga stuff. So, yeah boy okay then i got this top okay this is it it's this little shirt from glass ons it's a little nippy but i thought it would be so cute to wear either in the summer or in the winter and in the winter with like a leather jacket like i just really really vibe with it and um i think it's just very feminine and very cute so I'm into it. Then the next one is from General Pants. And it's also a black shirt that you're not gonna be able to see unless I try it on. And this is it. And it has like slightly puffy sleeves. 
it's just black it's kind of similar to the last one honestly but it like kind of does this little wrapping thing which i'm really into and i just think it's overall a very cute top this was on like a major sale for like less than 10 usd and i've been looking for like a short sleeve top with puppy puffy sleeves so i just thought it would be a cute option then is this tank top that's black and white stripes it's from nude lucy pretty like simple like self-explanatory but i love a good black and white striped tank top i think they're good to wear to the gym to anything else then this is from lulu and rose it is and this stuff this and this are from glue and it's this little top i think it's so cute and it's like a mint like a mint type green and i just think it's very cute and very like flattering on then i got this dress also from glass glass also from glue it's super cute on it's on my instagram you would have been able to see it on my insta stories so check those out i really really like it also these clothes smell like salt because australia smells like salt i miss it then this skirt from nude lucy as well from glue and the same one pretty much in black because i realized i don't have enough skirts and dresses and i love to wear those in the summer so yeah the final thing is i think yeah i think that's it yeah the final thing is from my mom and it's this navy sweater okay this has been bugging me the whole video so i'm gonna turn it off for a second it's this navy sweater and it is from a piece apart and she just like had it laying on my bed and it's also puppy sleeved she had it laying on my bed when i came home i was like that is so sweet so yeah very excited about that okay wait just kidding i forgot about swimsuits <laughs> so the final stuff i got is some swimsuits and i never buy swimsuits because i never really like liked to buy them that much i'm always just like man i don't want swimsuits but i figured i'm in australia i should get some swimsuits that like i think are cute i don't like spending a ton of money on swimsuits just because i feel like they always get gross so i found some like affordable ones but not cheap looking um so i'll just tell you where each one is from but this is the first one it's this like light bluish color and it's from the brand Oh, it's also nude lucy and it's from cotton on or no oh my god it's from glue and this yes this is the butt <laughs> the butt <laughs> this is the bottom i was looking at the butt but it's the bottoms then these next two suits are from cotton on and they're both kind of similar this one is actually the bottom is high-waisted and it's a little big but it fits like swimsuits you can usually get to fit so the bottoms are high-waisted and then the top is one shouldered and it's just like this and then it has like wooden little um loop kind of holding it together and like these are swimsuits that i'm actually really excited to wear so yeah then i got this one and it's also from cotton on and this is the top and then that's wooden if you can't tell and the bottoms have also like the little wooden loops. Super cute and I love the color. Then the final one I did, I'm not a huge like, I don't know if I love the swimsuits where your whole butt is visible, the thong swimsuits. And I've actually had this conversation with Blake and he's like, I kind of dig them, but like in moderation, I was like, okay, fine. Um, so i figured i would get one and so this one is the brand a e x a e and it's just little little tiny and then this is the bottoms and it's just kind of like a sand color and yeah oh hold on okay this is the actual last thing in my haul but this is a dress for a wedding i have two weddings coming up this this next like coming fall and winter so i figured i just needed to get 
dresses to wear for them and one of them I know is black tie um so yeah this is it so it's kind of wrinkled um but and the lighting if I show you guys in the camera is really shitty but you can kind of see like in the back like this the leg has <laughs> ignore my socks <laughs> but the leg has this like opening slits in both of the legs and then it has just these thin straps and like a nice little cutout and then it goes like midi-esque and I absolutely love this dress. I have so much trouble finding dresses that fit me and I feel like this one is just perfect and it's gonna look so beautiful with, I even see it with that little snakeskin wallet that I had and just like super simple, like I don't need much, you know what I mean? And so yeah, I'm so excited to wear that. But that is the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button below and follow me on Insta. It's also linked down below. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon for my next vid.